Okay. So just in a second. <coughs> Three, <clears throat> two, have to make sure it's going perfect though. Okay, everything's going good. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hey, Ask Gamer Gaming here. Welcome back to episode two of What's This Game Called? <laughs> Life is Strange. I left you on a cliffhanger last time. Let's get back to the game now. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Okay. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are I need a hammer to break it open. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Put that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay, and it's a deal. You get back before Don't all this. Don't ever! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are... Trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would... Worse than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Ooh. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding mm. something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. So Leave ugly. Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm he since that's so your job. Ugly. Hold on, Max. Come back here. Okay. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. He's so or ugly. have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Poor Nathan will hide the truth. Support him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. 
Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later <clears throat> in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Coffee. Okay. <clears throat> of course this academic oh, I can drone resign. won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, I think we're good. Hattie, that means it's a boarding school. see shortly I hope so okay okay I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive or dorms or dormities freaking crap there's a damities a damities Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <laughs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? <laughs> oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Nice. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, wait. What a bump. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Sheila Victoria, it's just water. It's just yeah, water. Water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Can't even chill on the steps. On the steps. Uh, let's go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get on my way. Get on my way. So do you understand English? Get lost. How about you? None shall pass. Capiche? Don't capiche me. <gasps> More on the dot. Let's go a little bit forward. Look, wait a minute, look. Look at the ladder. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Hey. Like, Keep walking, hippie. How about you? Whoa. 
That's, okay, I think I should have to get him wet. So let's get them wet. Excuse me. Go future a little bit. I don't know where to stop. That's good. I'm so confused on what's, where to go. I don't know how far back I need to go. I don't know what to do. No. Do you understand English? Keep walking, hippie. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. None shall pass. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Hippish? How the heck? What the heck do you do? I'm pretty confused. What's happening? Frick. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Well, I'm so salty right now. I don't even know what to do. Okay, so you turn on the water pump, then they get all mad. They're like, oh my god, my dress. What the hell? Are you kidding? She gets mad and then nice, bro. looks Samuel. Samuel. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Excuse me, Samuel. Mommy. You can only go back. One of those points. Things. Kind of sucks. I'm really. I don't. I'm pretty confused though. <clears throat> you okay? Capiche, capiche. <gasps> Tamper. Tamper. Is that. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. And get out of the way. Camper. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see if this works. Is it wet yet? I have to get them wet too? Jesus. I'm a freaking girl. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here it goes. So we, we tampered it. That means it's going to fall right on her head. Hello. No way. No fucking okay, way. Victoria. <laughs> wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drop. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> um, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I'm gonna comfort her because I don't want to be mean to her. Unless you just want to be mean to me. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. 
Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourself -y. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Oh no. Should we redo that? Just I'm not gonna redo it. I'm just gonna go along. Where's your dorm room? Hurry, Courtney! There's this. Max's room. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Okay, let's water, let's water our plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action will have consequences. <laughs> what? Why was she coming in here anyway? Hmm, my room. Let's get Warren's flash drive. Look. <clears throat> Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Borrowed your flash drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. It's not like it's far away. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh, what's happening? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh... uh Watterson? Or Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. <gasps> I didn't even That's think right. you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Mm. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the In the Victoria, there it is. Victoria. How should we be doing this, but. Who is this? What's that? This is your Peter. I'll give Victoria props for not <coughs> posting my photo. And for this nice shot. How blurry to me. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Mm. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Such a 40 totally punk. Juliet and Dana just now. Just mentioned Juliet that I saw nasty sex when Dana and Zach's twin. I must believe me, so expect to be dorm rampage soon. They're just letting Zach away. You need to get out your popcorn. Fun. 
How do you print it? Print email. Hee <laughs> hee. Take it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Which one is gonna be like, what are you doing in my room? Here you go, you happy now? Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. <laughs> you really think yeah. I mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. Yeah, Warren's flash drive is on the Almost desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. It's Warren. So I'm wondering. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay. I really whoa. More attacks longer take. On the way. Bye. <clears throat> okay. Hello there. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. <laughs> no, thank you. She can get hurt. I don't care. Thanks, but we weren't. But we're not friends. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Let's take a photo, and then we can rewind it and see what the other one does. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Okay, yeah, we should rewind. I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Okay. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. That's better. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is out. Back to campuses. Ah, the good life. Okay. That's probably him in the back of the blue car. We, yeah, that's Victoria. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I don't get it. can't stand to see people being bullied. Do that to me? Nope, that's the other girl who was like, she was sexting with me. Check it out. I will reach for you. 
What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 You're in miles? You're a long time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, she like pirates movies. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, okay. babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. We talk. Oh, we talk about I need this. to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, who's that You're dude one with the You're of Jefferson's dying. photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! <laughs> He's getting punched in the face. He says, go. I got now. this. Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nathan Nattie. Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. <clears throat> so, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but 
I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark mm -hmm. Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Nance. I hope this isn't going to be the end of the first episode. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have to end this episode here. Jesus. I wasn't paying attention to time. It's been 30 minutes. I think I should watch this with a long episode, but hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!